Here I am, Leon C, a.k.a. Morpheus. As you saw the title of this video, I'm going to make it very simple and I'm going to make it very basic. Some of you have a closed mind, so don't waste your time with this video. You can watch something else, okay? Because in this video, have been produced by concern by several of my emailers who have asked me some very vital questions that are realistically serious and by far and on a continual basis they have been dealing with being scrutinized and misjudged and misunderstood based on their perception and their curiosity of these matters so in this for some of you who think like that okay to you I may be talking about space aliens mythology and things that just don't exist or should not exist because you are in a program science like mindset where you need physical evidence, where you need to dig into it in order to see that it's real. Such as when people are lowered into the ground or when they hit the wall at 100 miles per hour, then you're like, okay, I get it now, but by then you're gone. That's your knowledge, okay? That's not the knowledge of this channel. The knowledge of this channel is that I have plenty of viewers and it may even be you who depend on me to give you something that's different something that that is on the level of flying saucers and imaginary dreams and unrealistic events occurring okay now if I have not hit that level for some of you that's okay that's good that means you have a logical mindset because the highest aspirations of existence and of life is based on a higher curriculum that has been programmed into your current American mind so it's going to be different now without further ado there are three situations I want to talk about. First of all, my condolences and my heart goes out to the Kobe Bryant family. All right. I have a best friend who emailed me in concern and worry. They were pretty much hurt about the situation. And they have read my book, which is down there. It's called 2020 America Rise or Fall Hard. They have also watched the video that I am going to refer you to. It's called The Terminating Machine. And there's another video called The Cost of Power. That has a lot to do with how we have lost Kobe Bryant. Okay? Or you could even say the reason. Because a lot of people who are religious I've had a debate not too long ago with a Christian or you could say a religious person who said in their in their perspective before our conversation before I begin to break it down for them and give them the red pill which I'm getting ready to give you you can go ahead and take that and I'm gonna give you my version of the red pill and I'm gonna take my version In those two videos that you need to look back at and in this book that I have for you, you need to get that book because it breaks all this down in detail, okay? As what I'm telling you now breaks it down to a more wider understanding, comprehension. The argument was this, our debate. She said, yes, it was a woman. Okay, excuse my 
face expression. Uh, but she had some uh, blue pill guys who was with her also in the conversation. So I would not be surprised that they was in agreement with her. Uh, I'm not going to comment about that. But here. They were thinking that it was an act of God. Saying that, well, God chose him at that time. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, before I get hyped up, because I'm starting to feel that red pill. Okay? A lot of things that happen to us in our life is not an act of God. It's an act of man. Nature did not make the helicopter. Nature did not make the airplane. Nature doesn't make your automobiles, nor does it make your smartphones or your computer. Man makes that. The cost of power is that man has created the Garden of Eden to be a workshop instead of a natural garden with fruits, berries, nature, and trees, and birds, and, and animals. Obviously, most of you go out there to the city, you don't see a lot of animals anywhere besides domesticated dogs and cats and birds. All right. In some countries, you may see some rummaging bears or maybe some other animals or maybe a couple of deers that might come across you every now and then. But obviously, what I'm saying is a fact. OK, that is not the Garden of Eden, even if it never existed. It's still the idea of the picture with all these animals and nature being around you and you in harmony with it. Human beings are not in harmony with nature. Did y'all hear that? Wait a minute. What did Morpheus say? No, he didn't. What did he say? Human beings are not in harmony with nature. And on top of that, we are using man's way of defeating nature at the cost of of our lives yes as Kobe Bryant's career as any famous person's career as an actor as an entrepreneur as somebody who travels from country to country to country to country as anyone who was in the realm of business and money and have the freedom to go from Florida to New Jersey or to go from uh, California up to Washington DC or over to Ohio Okay, or over to China if you want to go that far in one day, in two days, in a few hours, in three hours. There is a cost that you are paying that a lot of people don't think about. That you should not be surprised. And it's only real. I told you, some of you just may not like this video because y'all not too real. Y'all like just just living your life as an automaton without thinking there are thousands of people who lose their lives a year in automobile collisions and crashes a tree did not make that automobile pop out of the fruit a man made that automobile pop out of the materials from the ground that he configured together and Y'all went along with it. This is not to say do not fly. Morpheus is not condoned. This, I'm not saying that you should stay home. I'm not saying that we should stop and just stay in whatever country that we're in and just deal with that and just avoid travel altogether. What I'm saying is there's a cost of the power that we are demanding out of nature or a denatured lifestyle and the longer we keep doing this the more we become denatured it's a Russian roulette and because mankind today when I say mankind it's female and male mankind meaning human okay the longer we augment ourselves the more we need to use and abuse nature or the simplicity of nature to make a highway to fly there because we want to get there 
to do something because we need faster speed. We need 1G network, 3G network, then 4G network, now 5G network. Your human nature is the cost. Every now and then, someone gets unlucky. That's just real talk. This is an adult channel to empower you. Every now and then, somebody gets unlucky. You understand? You're swimming every day. You got this water, this pool. You're in a hotel. This pool is deep enough where you can jump off the balcony and go into it and come up and you survive. Right? And the pool attendant says it's an open pool for everybody in this hotel and the hotel is 24 hours obviously and there's more people that's at the pool some people are not when you are asking for power from the universe and from nature this is what happens you need that pool to be open 24 hours 7 days a week no matter what so what happens is this there's a day or time where nature will not communicate with you, where instincts will not communicate with you, where the universe will not communicate with you and say that this airplane's not going to make it, okay? Or the roadways is not going to communicate with you. It can't anyway because it's made from man's creation, which has no heart and feelings called machines. But your instincts isn't there. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Some of you have read, some of you have watched my other videos, and you know what I mean by instincts. All it takes is one time. You go up to the balcony, you're like, oh, I can do whatever I want to do because they say it's 24 hours. You don't check. You don't need to check. You don't feel like you need to check, even though you should. Right? So you put on your bathing suit or you put on your swim trunks, and it's 10 o'clock at night or even maybe 12 o'clock in the morning and you decide to jump in the swimming pool right but they drain the water out to clean it for the next day and you jump right down into the concrete or the tiles that are there and now it's painted red that's how nature is if I can break that down in that way for some of you to understand mankind's machines say yes you can do it listen automobiles say yes you can do it sometimes in the snow in the rain through hailstorm through fog you still see people out there anyway okay so without thinking without thought we are living that lifestyle where let's just do it let's just do it it don't matter but you void yourself of the consequences now I don't have a personal conversation with God okay I'm not a preacher and I'm glad I'm not but I would tell you this what I would perceive God to be okay is not a creator or creator a creator I was gonna say a creator okay it's not a it's he's not gonna or it not he it's not gonna make a creation that's actually gonna kill you okay it's not an act of it's not an act of God and God don't pick and choose you pick and choose we take a risk every day when you decide to do whatever you decide it's a risk if you go to the shooting range even if you have your got you have your your uh your earmuffs on and you have eye protectors you're still taking a risk that one of those bullets is going to ricochet the wrong way it's still a risk when you're eating it's a risk that you might choke on your food or uh the food might be poisoned because you didn't prepare it or you didn't make it. It's still a risk. And you still got to ask yourself a question. Did nature make this or did man make this? Why would you blame it on God? And God didn't make it. When you prepared the food, you took the fork and you said, Ah, 
and you choked off of it. I think that God gives us grace and mercy. God teaches us to avoid those things, whatever your perception of God may do, called knowledge and instincts and intuition. What not to do. We don't have intuition or instincts anymore because we just go. Let's just go. I got something else for you when it comes to instincts. I told you it's about flying aliens and some, some of you flying saucers. Because some of you don't probably comprehend it anyway. There was something on the news just today. Let me tell you something about my videos. This one is fairly new. You might be getting this video later on. But what I talk about is still happening now. So you're not missing out. If you just now like this video, okay, if you're just now subscribing, I want you to know that you're not behind, okay? This is not an old video, okay? The stuff I talk about is, is fresh and it's brand new. There was a nine-year-old that stabbed a five-year-old sister that he had somewhere in Florida, okay? I'm not saying no names. I'm just telling you the situation. And I'm going to use that as a prop to tell you something. It's not something that the police can solve. It's out of the police hands at this point. All they can do is be the cleanup guys. It's your responsibility to understand how this is happening so you can prevent it from happening. Here in America. Now listen, here we go. Here we go. I'm going in. And by the way, still on that note, I was a Kobe Bryant fan myself. I enjoyed the Lakers. So I was touched just as well. But before that happened, I had those videos out there to tell y'all about the Terminator machine. The book was available for you. And I'm trying to give you a heads up, okay? Only some of you are going to get it and start changing your lifestyle. Because I guarantee you if he stayed home, you think God's going to kill him while he's eating the meal with his children? No. Think about that for a moment. Who did it? Not God. If this camera right now decides to blow up in my face, was that God that did that? I didn't make the camera. No. Some engineer did. Some scientist, some some, you know, some computer tech did that. I didn't do it. You got to start thinking with your head. When you use something, there's a risk involved. You're paying a price. So when y'all act surprised when things happen, that just shows just how far away we are from common sense. That's not taught anymore. If you fly, if you drive, if you swim, if you're playing with pharmaceuticals and drugs, please be sure. Now, get off that thing. The earth is like a, a real woman, not your American women who are, <laughs> you know, uh, so independent and strong. I don't need a man mentality. Right now, I'm, I'm talking about a real natural homebred woman. I'm talking about or organic, supporting, loving, nurturing, and mature woman whose whole intentions is to produce life. She has an energy. And just like the woman's emotions, it's a wave of energy that could be either or. As American people, I'm going to show you something. As a whole, as a family, we have a responsibility as to what we are doing on her surface and the energy that we are producing. Today in America and this lifestyle, it's all about let's get money. I'm only concerned about my career. I only care about the family that I make from my bosom and my loins. 
I only care about my problems. I don't care about no one else's problems. So compassion and love, that energy wave start going down. It start decreasing with the values and the virtue. And of course, for MGTOW, I don't have to say anything about that because we comprehend that with the female who roams upon the soil of the American continent. Okay. The energy that we are creating here in America has an effect. Some of you know this phone. Let me tell you how the human body works. And some of you are already on that level because you have graduated from my other videos. So you understand what I'm saying. You are an energy dynamic. You give off data and energy called chi. With your energy as well, there's negative energy, there's positive energy, and there is motivation, there's grace, and there's compassion that we don't have anymore in America. That children are more sensitive than we are. I told you in my other video, children barely listen to what you say. They listen to what you do. And because they are the most sensitive nodes to the energy to the psychology of the land or human earth or you could say again her female body her chemistry they pick up on that negative energy quicker they pick up from that negative energy not just from you at home mommy and daddy they pick up that energy from other kids at school so because in the beginning, the compassion of American people, our concern for each other, our compassion used to be up here. We were simple people. We didn't have technology at the level that it is today. Instagramming and, and uh, no shame sex and I can do whatever I want to do lifestyle and everybody wants equality, which why would you have to fight for equality when nature gives quality? Anyway. It have decreased so again that energy being passed on from you to your kids whether you raise that energy up and I talked about this in my other video is irrelevant because when they leave your house and they go to somebody else's house or school they exchange that energy for what's going on there at school with that person that's next to them I'm talking about the not I'm on the subject of the nine-year-old if you're just not looking at the video on the nine-year-old who stabbed his five-year-old daughter because I'm telling you a lot of y'all is like oh that's crazy why did that happen she shouldn't have ignored him maybe the parents are evil no parents aren't generally evil you just don't have Morpheus's version of the red peel to get a better view to say I get it now you're not ignorant, you just don't know. Because some of you don't believe because you too believe in, in other religion. You're believing in what people tell you. You're believing in just science. Oh, if I can't see it, I can't believe it. What you don't see is what's killing you remember that what you see is not usually what's killing you what's killing you and us is what you don't see that you will discover later on we all most people have discovered later on when they get older by an unfortunate circumstance because you're too busy thinking about the lowered standard of america not the standard that America used to have with all these unnecessary policies, distractions, and movements. You're not thinking because you've been programmed for your brain to be down here and some of you for your brain to be down here. Some of you have a phone. Let me give you an example. There is a phone that they made and some have that capability where those two phones and some of you know what I'm talking about in the back of the phone, if somebody has data, 
you got data and you want to share a file or a picture or something and they showed on a commercial you take the both phones and you, you put them together like that all that person got to do is say here and you tap the back of their phone with your phone boom and you share the data the human energy is just like that your chi when you are around people with toxic energy with positive energy like some commercials okay there are some commercials I'm not gonna talk about who they may be but some of you know where they do this on purpose where it's in your subconsciousness where you watch a commercial they advertise a food they advertise something a food right and they'll flash different things in front of you and your conscious mind listen is just looking at the the, the pictures and the color you're just looking at this right but your unconscious mind is taking in the message listen to me carefully your con your unconscious mind is taking in the message then later on in that day at five o'clock or four or three or even sometimes maybe six o'clock seven you're wondering why you have cravings for this certain type of fries or for this certain type of hamburger are you like you know what I think I want this certain type of chicken and you have totally forgotten that that commercial had flashed you four or five hours a long time ago same as the television the television that depicts certain movies certain uh, scenarios that families and people do around America it entrains you that eventually you watch it enough without diving into your own consciousness but just watching it with your your awareness up here but your consciousness is reading in the message where you start acting it out later on and you don't know why but you're you're acting out the programming that was entrained into your mind into your unconsciousness now let's talk about this young man because it's happening more you say why is it happening why are these young kids this video is the latest video if you watch my other video and I can't think of what the name is I talked about um, I think I know the yes I do know that the, the um, title to is to suffer in silence that's one of them okay and there's another video where I talked about there was a 17 to 19 year old boy that was trialed as an adult I talked about how there was a 13 year old girl that stabbed her mother okay and at the end of the video I told you I promised you that it was going to happen again I promised you it was going to be younger and here we are just recently a nine-year-old boy in Florida stabs his sister because he says he just felt like killing her where's the hatred coming from it's not the devil ladies and gentlemen please 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 listen get the devil and God out of your mind in this and you can keep them in your mind all you want to in this video you need to be open-minded about what Morpheus is telling you so you can learn something when you bring a sense of God or a perception of a devil into your problems you are devoiding yourself or you could say you are avoiding responsibility you are avoiding taking action you are avoiding trying to find the root of the problem because you think the root of the problem is some mystery creature called the devil and some mysterious angel that you never saw called your version of God when you exit that equation get simple logic to you that I'm trying to give to you with this red pill okay give you a sense of responsibility and that you have to be accountable for what's going on and a lot of people don't want to do that you be better you just oh let's just blame it on the devil it's the mercy of God even though God is merciful but that's why if you whatever your perception of God is gives me the power to give you this knowledge to give you facts it's not that type of active energy it's the act of 
people. Because the generative factor that we used to have of a compassionate environment, listen, that's why I gave you the example of the two phones and the energy. We are practicing the energy here in America that is evil. It's not the devil. It's not God. It's you. What you generate like a node, like an electrical outlet, because we're all about money and career and I'm goal driven. I don't care. You know, I had an oops child. I just so happened to. Right. So now we devoid that responsibility and accountability and just keep on focusing on our lifestyle. And forgetting that we have signed up to be God. When you have a child, you have signed up to be God, judge, police, lawyer, um, doctor, physician. You have signed up to be all those things for that child because they are another human being that requires that type of energy. So therefore, you have to focus on what that, ener that energy or what energy that child is digesting. And it's not just you. You got to understand something. The reason why I make these videos, and I told you about the other reasons before, this is one of the top reasons, is because, and you say, oh, why are you all about American unity? Why are we all about America? Because we are in this together. Because that one child is going to affect your child that you don't know of that might be over there overseas or on an island. Because eventually that phone over here, which is your child, that phone over here, which comes from this country or this land or this state, is going to meet your child and share that energy. So whatever energy your child have is going to meet your other child's energy. So whether you doing good or not, you have to suffer for what that other parent have done. You got to suffer for them. Most of us don't look at it like that. Because we were programmed not to. We're programmed to live a segregated lifestyle where it's a me, me world. And it's not about you. My problems ain't your problems. Your problem is your problem. My problem is my problem. What I have to deal with is what I have to deal with. And I told you in my other videos, okay, when, when there's always a, a shooting, when there's always a hate crime, when there's always a, a, a mass situation that occurs, okay? Most times, it's not from people that you know. Most times it's from people from a different place that met you at the wrong time. Do you understand? Most times when these children are doing something, okay? When they are interacting, they're interacting with the outside world, not just your energy. So therefore, they're taking in this negative energy or ambient energy that you or that we have allowed because we are in a nation now that is not united. It is un-United States of America, okay, where we have lost our compassion. Men can't trust women because of the unfair, unbalanced system as being MGTOW, okay? Women are women are uh, accusing men of things that they are not doing and things that they may be doing, but accusing them nonetheless. So you have this untrusting system where there is a constant struggle and battle between male and female. Then you have gender expression. Then you have transgender. Then you have all these other segments of distraction. But we're not paying attention to the main core that's being destroyed children when we abandon our post this is something that I, I uh, thought of this morning when the when that news hit me at first I wasn't surprised okay because I told you it was gonna happen and I was expecting for it to happen so it's not like it's like okay it's gonna happen until people wake up you know but uh, at the sound of my voice a lot of people will not you don't understand Okay, because it's not a, when somebody assaults you, it's not a you situation. That's just, oh, it's a you situation now, right? When you're when we're just 
you know, go to the store, we get our food, we come home to our children or something like that. And it's just an everyday cycle, you know, and we separate ourselves from the concern of the world. And, oh, let me just build my fortress and my cameras outside of my house and have this big, long driveway. It's all about me, nobody else. Then when something happened, when that attack comes to you, now it's all about you. Don't don't start worrying about it when that happens. When that happens, when that happens, and you're like, oh my God, I need help. Like, what's going on here? And then you're defendful, and there's a fight, and there's there's this and that. Okay? And the thought never comes to your mind saying, whoa, you know, it, 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 it's my life. I ain't got nothing to do with it. But you will still have something to do with it. I told you in my other video, when there is an intersection and the crossways and somebody hits you sideways, okay, now it's your personal problem. Whether you survive from it or not, it's still your personal problem. But you need to figure out why is this person doing that? Because people like you, like me and others, okay, are like, oh, that's not my problem that they are like that. Personally, it's not. Personally, it's not. But here's the flying saucer. Spiritually, by the energy, listen, by the new standards of our American construct, by the way we carry ourselves, by our systems, by our policies, by our mindset, it is our problem because we are producing those people. Because we condone sick people because we are sick ourselves. Because we produce this energy and we don't think it's, we don't, when we collide those phones together, we're like, oh, okay, nothing happened. Your child goes to a school, private school or public school, and you teach them something at home, right? They go to the school and they get, they attach themselves to somebody else and they come home and bring that to you. You will never know it's there. And you know why? Because it's right here in that child's subconsciousness. That's why. They don't act it out immediately. When you watch that commercial, you did not immediately say, oh, I'm going to go out there and get this hamburger right now. Like the very second. It takes time for it to sink in. Like when you are learning something, it takes time to sink in. It takes time. It roots itself first. It roots itself back here in your unconsciousness. Then eventually those images start flashing in your brain. It's just flashing as a memory. Children have very good memory. That's why they are usually the ones that are imposed on first. That's why they're the ones that are attacked first. So it flashes, it's flashing, boom. No matter how old you are, it still happens to you. It just flashes. Then eventually you start having these ideas from this subconsciousness. You understand? Then over time, it start you will start entertaining the thought. Listen, you will start entertaining the thought. Then it start taking over your main focus, your conscious mind, not your unconscious, your conscious mind. Then you will start practicing it by thinking about it. Then it will become a choice of doing. Because you entertained it enough by pulling it back here from your memory banks and played with it for a little while. You couldn't help it because it kept flashing memory. It's in your memory being in your unconsciousness. And then eventually, if it feels good, which is that's the deception of it in most times, in most cases, it's a deception. You will eventually do it. I have watched children as young as six years old come back from a daycare or come back from somebody else's house and she's with her mom or he's with her mom, with his mom. And they will say some things. You're like, where did you get that from? Where did it come from? Why are you talking like that? Like there was a six year old girl, for example, um, who was talking to her older sister who was 15. And because the oldest sister didn't give her something, 
she said, I feel like stabbing her. I just want to stab her. I just feel like stabbing her. Six-year-old girl now. A six-year-old girl. Now, we're going to go deep into this. Because some of y'all... Listen. When it comes to positive and negative energy, age don't matter. Age don't matter. A death is a death. Deception is a deception. Evil is evil. We are producing that here in America because we're not. Pro Listen, we're not producing compassion anymore. We're not producing stable relationships. We're not producing healthy foods for some people who keep eating that nasty instinct blocking food that I have described to you in my other videos. We're not living a healthy lifestyle, apparently, because we're just like, oh, I just want to get money by any means necessary. So that. So that caring, compassion level is gone. The absence of love is hatred. What did he say again? What? What? I, I didn't hear you. The absence of love is hatred. The absence of compassion is a mind that says, I don't care. That will eventually start sipping into the heart to say, I really don't care with the biggest finger possible. That's not one person's problem. That's everybody's problem. That's what produces a hopeless situation. That's what produces the initiation for someone to say, I hate you. I want to. I just feel like it. I just feel like. That's the struggle that crime has. That's the struggle that your local police people have to deal with because that's not something you can pinpoint. You can't just stop something like this. It's not like it's a, it's a, uh, someone had, who took a car. It's not a robbery. You can stop a robbery eventually if you get there at a quick enough time. Even after that, you know, there's rummage and stuff is left over and, you know, you just got to clean it up. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a metaphysical and it is a spiritual issue. Did you see what I just did? Because that's what some of you do. Like, oh, oh man, Morpheus, what are you talking about, man? That's just stupid, man. I raised my kids right. I don't even know what you're talking about. You did. But she's going to go out there and connect to somebody else's phone. Then it's going to be your problem. That's what happens when you are ignorant. That's what happens when you ignore. And this is not just children. This is adults. I told a friend of mine not too long ago. And she got it. You know, she received the message. And she understood. I said, when you become mommy and daddy, you are everything in that child's life. That means you are God. So you have to be concerned about what's going on over here. A little bit more about what you're concerned about what's going on here on your end. Because when you take care of your square, somebody else is not. I have watched because I've of course I told you I've been doing teaching and tutoring and helping people and things of that nature and um, I was helping the family move okay as I was counseling one of their uh, one of their children no I'm not a paid counselor and all that crazy stuff no nothing like that I'm just a advisor you know a, a helper a supporter right and I noticed the change when when her mom, when she's at home, right? 
she she acts like what her mom wants her to act like that's because her mom wants her to act that way okay she acts like an angel she's she's good right she's just set right when her mom leaves and she's getting ready for school and she you know don her clothes with not or basically when she's around her friends that's one of the big things she's a totally different person all together because it happens like that for most people you understand but it acts like that it's more of that effect for children as well because what is she interfacing but the standards listen the standards and the energy of the society that has been produced through other children I remember one time and it just so happened it happened as a coincidence I was I was driving to go pick up something like one of my clothes from the, the dry cleaners right and I just so happened to stop at McDonald's because I was gonna pick up a fish sandwich you know yeah I know y'all think oh yeah that was it was a long time ago okay because I don't eat that stuff I really I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna bash him but I just don't think it's a good idea and she so happened to be in the McDonald's with her friends right and of course she noticed me and she was talking but I was sitting up there studying at the same time while she was around her three friends apparently they just came home from school they came home from school and they was just sitting there before they go home which is a normal that kids and children are doing now from uh, I think from freshman year to uh, junior and sophomore year and all that and she was a totally different person the way that she was talking to her classmates it was just like she was a little grown adult just talking there you know she was different than the girl that her mom expected for her to be this comes natural because she is fitting into the program of that setting itself now I know what y'all thinking nobody's perfect and yeah we're gonna deal with the ups and downs there's gonna be some struggles that's the problem now because that's why this nine-year-old ten-year-old fifteen-year-olds these teenagers are being sent to prison straight from your house because you're like, oh, well, uh, we, we're not perfect people.